Hey, welcome back. Today, we are gonna dive into a new video and we're gonna talk about the best top Trek top for the four-door Bronco. It's been almost two years to the date since we've installed this. And I uh, just wanted to do a quick recap of pros, cons, what I've liked about it. And uh, more importantly, would I buy it again? So let's uh, take a closer look at it. So first of all, I love the look. I love the, I like the slant back. I know some people like it, some people don't. I really do like the slant back look. I also like the tightness of everything. Even after two years, you could start to see a little bit of the uh, crossbars sticking up and going across. So it's not as tight as it was originally where you couldn't see like these indentions of the crossbars. But one thing that really turns me off about the OEM soft top is how like even after a year on most of them, it looks like a circus tent where it kind of droops in between each crossbar and it just looks like something draped over top of it and the rear windows and everything it looks like it just fits on there loosely but so for that i do like the best top much better functionality wise the oem hardtop it's pretty cool I, I like the way the back flips up i like the way you can flip it halfway back or all the way back uh, and that was one thing i really didn't like about this top the material is great it's held up i said it's stretched a little bit you could start to see and then it's just starting where you could see kind of this like the things laying under it like crossbars and stuff laying under it it does have a bit of a channel up here it's still if, you, if it's raining and you open your window you still get wet uh, it's not perfect it does help a little bit but it's not perfect this one this is an older one and the the branding is just this little sewn in tag it looks like all their newer ones it has a really large i don't know if it's like a iron on patch type material or what but they have a really big logo on the back which would be a turn off to me yeah having this little tag that doesn't bother me but having a big huge best stop logo on the back that probably would and then and this is going to be true for most uh, plastic windows. I don't know if you could see or whatever. I don't know if you could even see that. But I did try to put uh, some vinyl on here. And it sat. It stuck perfectly fine. But once you took it off, it, uh, it etched itself into the plastic. It's dirty right now. so. But there's a few scratches in the plastic from tree branches and stuff. But overall, material is held up great. If we go inside, I like that it has these pockets. We can store some stuff in there, both sides. And then it's, everything's held really well together. Overall, materials are good. The, it's been durable, it's held up great. Uh, some things that I don't like about it now is when you flip the top open, and we'll go through, I'll go through all the functionality. They undo the clips, undo the clips, and then fold it back. This front bar and the way everything is, it's very, it's not very stable. You can't just pick it up. You, I can't just sit on one side and pick it up because it flexes and that side sticks. And so you can't just sit on one side and open it up. You either need two people or you need to kind of sit in the center and push it up from the center and then push it back. And then you can't just kind of fold it back and leave it there. You kind of have to climb back here to fold it back so you can tuck the fabric so it's not dangling down on passengers if you're going to have any passengers it's not a huge deal breaker i mean it's a slight annoyance but it is an annoyance so i figured i'd point that out and again i'll show that here in a minute 
and then also I mentioned it is getting stretched out after after two years and these this is starting to to get a little bit flappy especially at highway speeds and making noise and flapping so I did put some velcro straps on there which, which worked great for a little bit until the velcro came off so I'd have to put new velcro on there I didn't stitch it in or anything I just stuck it to there and it stuck it stayed on there pretty good until I started opening and closing it a lot and then it just came off but um yeah so if you do have one of these tops and it's you're you're getting that kind of flutter and flapping and annoying sounds as you're driving uh yeah i highly recommend just sticking a piece of velcro or something in there that will stick it to there while it's closed and prevent it from flapping and then noise levels I'd say it's on par with the uh, OEM soft top. The OEM soft top may be a bit quieter, actually. I originally had a light bar on here. I had a rigid light bar going across when I had the hard top on here, and it was perfectly fine, no problems. I put this top on, and then we went on a road trip out to uh, Pigeon Forge in Tennessee, and as soon as we hit the highway, I was like, Oh wow, that is a horrible amount of uh, wind noise because it was just turbulence and wind and it was just making everything up here, like this whole area is just bouncing and, and vibrating and just a ton of wind noise. So much so that when we got to Pigeon Forge, I ran by Harbor Freight, picked up some, <laughs> some tools and then went to the parking lot and took the light bar out before I drove back home because there's there's no way I could drive like that. So um, that and then the other amount of sound that comes with this and I've noticed it in the, the OEM soft top but not as distinctly is the amount of sound that comes from the rear of the Bronco. When you're driving anything that happens behind you you hear it. That's the biggest source of sound. It, it's not the wind, it's not anything else, it's the road noise coming from behind the vehicle. And I'm guessing that pl the plastic windows aren't great sound insulators. So it sounds like, you know, first time, like, oh, did I leave something open? Is my tailgate not open, closed all the way? Did, is one of them, I uh, roll the windows down, roll them back up, make, maybe one of them didn't seat right, but no, it's just increased ambient noise. It is a little off-putting at first when you're driving around and you have this extra noise coming behind you that you're not used to hearing. After a while you get used to it and you don't think about it until you drive in another car for a while. Like we just went on a trip and we took uh, my wife's Explorer which is much quieter. So after driving around in that for a week and then getting back in here and going for a quick ride it's like oh yeah I forgot about all that sound that's coming from the rear. Uh, and then it takes a little bit, to, like a day to get used to it. And then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, it's just normal Bronco things. Uh, just cruising around, it's not, I, I hear road noise. And I said I hear sounds from the rear more than anything. But it's not excessively loud or anything like that. We'll get out here to the freeway and get up to speed and see what that is. Here at about 50 miles an hour, 50 to 55. And we're around 104, 100 to 105. I said not super loud I, I don't know how that compares I'll try to get into another Bronco with her just a regular soft top and see how it compares to the OEM soft top uh, on the meter yeah overall I don't think it's too loud now like I said before when opening this it tends to be a little bit of a pain uh, just because of how 
much flex there is on this. So to open this, it uses the same type of uh, connector as the OEM soft top there. Uh, you do kind of have to pull down on that and then get it to pop out. Sometimes, like that one, it just popped right out. Sometimes, if you don't, it'll still hang up on there and you gotta, there you go, it popped out. Now, if you just try to lift on one side, this is a thing, you can't just kind of sit out there and pull it from one side. There's too much flex in it, and so then that side just catches. I know with the OEM soft top, you could just be on one side and pull it up and push it back where you can't do that with this. You gotta do it from inside and then kind of stand up and push back. And I've just been looking for this all morning. It's been up there this whole time. And then, like I said, if you just push it right back like that, I've seen people complaining about how that right there just dangles and hangs down there and then we just kind of lift this up and push it back as it folds down puts a nice crease on there and then it just sits on top of the the crossbar there and doesn't doesn't sag down it just all sits right on top of there and it sits like that fine I've driven on the highway off-road everything I thought for sure it would bounce around to drive me crazy because there's no straps or no anything uh, like wind would get in there and kind of balloon it out or parachute it or something but no, it just sits like that and it rides great. I, while I was out on the drive, I stopped by and dropped off some used oil. Now to get in the trunk access, half the time I don't bother. I just kind of duck under here and deal with it. But if you do need to open, it just pops out. And Each side pops out and pops back in like that. And just pop this out. On both sides. And then flip it up. And then it's completely out of the way. If you are putting something in here, doing working in the back or anything, flip it up, it's out of the way no problem however let's pull day out just slides right out there's kind of this this rod flexible rod right just goes through a channel that's up there. And then take these side panels off. There's one snap here. And you can pull that out. The whole bottom pulls out. And then the front pulls out. And then it's got a similar channel where that just slides out as well. So that is the, the most open mode that you can have it. Flips, they like said flips back, it sits up here. I thought I would not like that first at first. Turns out I don't mind it. Uh, like I said it doesn't bounce around, it doesn't make noise or anything. Or maybe it does and it's just so little noise compared to the wind noise that you don't pick up on it. And uh, yeah, it sits there. It doesn't block the rear window or anything. Uh, the only thing that's kind of covered is your cargo area. Both the front and the rear seats are completely open. Been happy with it. So the question is, uh, would I install it again? Would I purchase it again? Yes. Uh, I'm given the opportunity 
to buy this or a factory soft top if they were at the same exact price i would still go with this just because i like the way i like the look of it so much better and i i do like the function of the oem hardtop a little bit better you have a look, couple more options with the the oem hard or oem soft top but uh in the end like the ones i've seen that are two years old or not even two years old a lot of them they they look like a circus tent where everything droops between the crossbars uh they're coming apart on the inside and they're just the quality is not there where this material and thickness and everything best top seems to seems to have gotten right now i don't i know they did make some improvements with the oem soft top so maybe uh those issues that i'm i'm saying that i've seen with them is the earlier ones and those are no longer an issue but that's all i have to base my opinion off of is the ones that i've actually seen and been around that's my experience my opinion yours may be different if so let us know down in the comments uh let's have a discussion about it because i know other people may have bad experience with this top other people may have great experiences with the oem soft top or maybe there's a different top out a different soft top out there that uh i haven't even seen and you have some experience with that with that all said i hope you did enjoy the video if you did go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time